Hi, welcome to Free, Free Academic English. I am Geraldine, and today we continue talking about the differences between TOEFL and IELTS, so you can decide which one to take. We're going to see the differences in every skill. The two exams give you scores in terms of skills and also general scores. So we're going to see the similarities and differences in those skills. Today, we're going to see the differences and similarities in reading. And then we're going to see those in listening, speaking and writing. Reading. There's not an easier or harder exam because they both more or less will reflect your current level. But there might be one with which you will feel more comfortable with and that will reflect your level better. So what are the similarities? Similarities are that you get passages and they score three passages. In TOEFL you might get an extra passage and that is a difference. Uh, they all ask questions uh, in general about the passages and also about the details in the passages. You get average 20 minutes to answer each passage. And those are all the similarities. <laughs> now let's go with the differences. There are plenty. First, the format. It's definitely different. In TOEFL, you get the passages on screen and in IELTS, you know, you get a booklet and there you have all the passages. Uh, you have to answer them in TOEFL, clicking or dragging. And for IELTS, you get an answer sheet in which you have to mark or to write the answer that you have to you have chosen. Uh, in TOEFL, it's the first part of the exam. In IELTS, it's the second part of the exam. In IELTS, the first part is the listening part. In TOEFL, you start with read. In TOEFL, as I told you, you can get three passages or you can get even four passages. In IELTS, you always get three passages. In TOEFL, first you get just 20 minutes for the first passage. In IELTS, you get 60 minutes for the other three passages. You can do it at your own pace. In TOEFL, after you finish the first passage, then you can get 40 minutes for the following two passages or 60 minutes for the following three passages. So there you can manage your time. In IELTS, you will usually get the passages uh, in order of difficulty. So the first one is going to be easier and the third one is going to be harder. And also you may want to use your time more wisely doing the first one faster and then taking more time for the others. In TOEFL, the level may vary, but it's not like in IELTS that you get one easier and then the others with difficulty with more difficulty. Some research shows that IELTS and TOEFL have some differences regarding the type of material they present. This research says that the structures, the grammatical structures they use for IELTS are harder than the ones used for TOEFL. On the other hand, they also say that TOEFL has topics that are more elaborate, let's say more difficult than the, to the topics that I deals with. So there is another difference. Although there are no exactly the same type of question, they both will present some questions, like typical questions of reading comprehension, of some details in the paragraphs, of some use of uh, pronouns, of some vocabulary, some things that you will usually see. Some questions differ. For example, in IELTS, in one passage, you will probably get a kind of question that is actually more than five questions, probably eight questions. That can be heading or summary. So you will get, for example, uh, if you have eight paragraphs, nine headings telling you to match each of them with each paragraph and that is nine questions. So you spend almost your 20 minutes doing all, all of those questions. That doesn't happen in TOEFL. The way they ask you is like a summary, maybe a, a, a question of this type 
will be worth up to three points, but not as much as in IELTS. The same happens with the kind of question that is true, false, or yes, no in IELTS. They ask uh, for true, false, but regarding similar matters, like five questions of true, false, five questions of yes, no, and that can be almost like one question. In TOEFL, probably the hardest question is the one about the inference or maybe about what is the purpose of the author for a certain phrase or certain sentence or certain uh, announcement in, in the passage. And that would be the, the most challenging part. When answering the questions, you know that in IELTS you have your answer sheet. But not only is that uh, you're going to, to mark A, B or C or write A, B or C, there are several questions in which you have to write words, maybe one word or up to three words. So it's very important that you have a good spelling and you use the right word. For example, if you use a noun, I mean, you have to use a noun and you have to know when to use an adjective or a verb. Yeah, because if something of that is wrong, you just won't get the point. In TOEFL, you'll never be asked to, to spell anything. You will always have to mark or drag something. In IELTS, they emphasize paraphrasing so much. They paraphrase a lot, and you have to find the answers regarding on their paraphrases, or they ask you to paraphrase, so they want you to use other words, synonyms, or grammatical structures. So you have to be very careful with that, not only in reading, but throughout all the exam. TOEFL also wants you to paraphrase, but it's not as um, emphatic on that as IELTS is. Those are the basic differences. Have you taken these exams? Which one suits you better and why? Now, when deciding, you really need to try both exams. I mean, don't try the whole exams, but try one full uh, TOEFL reading part and one full IELTS reading part and see which one you feel better with or you feel you can improve faster at or you will get used to faster. Let me know which one you've taken, how do you go, if you think one is easier or if you think one is less stressful, what do you think? Thank you for watching, subscribe and see you soon.